Hello, namaste. It's lovely to connect with you today. My name's Leanne Peters. I'm from templeofbalance.com.au, Temple of Balance on Facebook and Temple of Balance on YouTube. And I'm here to share some guidance for Thursday the 25th of October and Friday the 26th of October. So welcome. It feels like it's been ages because I haven't I don't think I've done a live stream or guidance since Saturday. It's been so busy. So much has happened since I connected with you last. So my new deck has arrived. Finally, my Animal Kingdom Oracle cards have um, reached their destination. So we've been busy packing. It took me five hours to pack 40 um, special edition packages yesterday and that's not even labeling because Corey's doing all that and I've got I'm not even a third of the way through so that just gives you a bit of an idea Corey's been writing um, writing our packages your addresses and things on the packages and the custom slips for days and he still hasn't started on the Australian people yet so thank you so much for pre-ordering everyone that has and it just means that we're really busy because our priority at the moment is getting the decks out to you so welcome extra special welcome to my Temple of Balance patrons my Pillar of Light family and all of those of you who support my work through my website and also to my Temple of Balance Facebook page, Top Fans. Thank you so much for your support, everyone. Um, if you're new to watching, welcome. So today is launch day of my new deck. So to celebrate the launch, I have to use my new deck, which the cat is sitting on. Um, <laughs> excuse me. <laughs> the cat is just loving it. She's been outside all morning, so I've only just come out to see her. So she's a bit extra excited. Um, so I will be using my new deck today because it's the launch day. So we have to use this deck. So um, if you're new to watching, welcome. What I'm going to be doing is using my Animal Kingdom Oracle cards. And I'm going to be pulling one card for Thursday, one card for Friday, and one card for the theme for Thursday and Friday. Um, I'm not doing personal requests for guidance here today. This is general guidance for everyone. So I trust that you've been led here for a reason and I trust that something shared will be helpful and supportive for you. So just take on board what feels right, what resonates and let the rest go. This is just a guide only. So let's let ourselves be surprised. It's lovely to see you all too. Thank you so much for your messages. Hi Deborah. Deborah says the box looks like it fits but in the other picture it didn't <laughs> yeah that's because one of the um <laughs> we had a bit of a miscommunication with our printer and so i was a little surprised i don't know if i could say pleasantly surprised what my video is frozen oh gosh um i wasn't necessarily pleasantly surprised that we had a miscommunication with the printer and the uh, box is actually a little bit bigger than the cards, which was not the plan. So Corey and I got our brains together and came up with the idea. We've actually been out and bought over 200 of these organza bags and we've been hunting around. They're not actually that easy to find. So they fit perfectly. So all of the decks come in a, an organza bag so that they will fit better into the box which makes me happier so i'm happy with that so they fit in we can get them out in and out easily and sometimes these things happen so yes they fit much better now <laughs> thank goodness hello audrey lovely to see you audrey says the video is fine hi adam lovely to see you too thanks for stopping by everyone let's get straight into the cards um, so I'm just going to start. I'm shuffling the deck now and what I'm doing is holding the intention that the best card will find its way to the top that's the most helpful for the majority of us. Hi Donna, hi Emily, lovely to see you. Um, so I'm holding the intention that the best card, I'm looking for the best card for Thursday the 25th of October. If it's not quite Thursday for you yet just think of this as guidance in advance. So Thursday the 25th, and just bear with me because these are 
brand new cards, so I'm still getting a feel of their core messages. Oops! <laughs> and how to shuffle them, it seems. And waking the cat up. <laughs> okay, Thursday the 25th of October, we'll go with this card right here. Oh, we've got, we've got the Emperor Moth again, which is funny because I think I've pulled, this is the fourth card that, or the fifth card that I've pulled on a live video of, from this deck. And this has already come up before. It's the Emperor Moth, card 14. And the message down here says, put things into order. So put things into order. So some of us may feel on Thursday that we need to get organized create a plan perhaps, or get things in some type of order. Let's be careful that we're not thinking that we're getting things into order or getting things organized because this is the end. We're getting things into order because we're actually preparing for a new beginning. So we're also guided through this card to keep shining our bright light, our unique light, who we are, keep being ourselves and not make excuses for or try and um, subdue who we are, but instead let our unique light shine brightly. So if, we, if we've been attracting a few moths, <laughs> some negative people or situations or people that um, are intimidated by the brightness of our light, if we're attracting a few moths right now, Let's not allow them to dim our light. So let's be careful on Wednesday that we're not letting one word or one person's opinion or a negative situation dim us. We must continue to be bright and hold in our brightness, which means in our uniqueness. Our brightness doesn't mean that I'm brighter than you. No, 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 no. It's not an ego thing. It's just about us accepting our uniqueness and the light, our unique light that we shine. And sometimes other people don't get it and that's okay. So let's let the moths go and keep shining brightly. And perhaps for you it resonates for you to get things into some sort of order on Thursday. So that's Thursday's card. It is the Emperor Moth. Emperor Moth. So I trust that makes sense to you see how you go for your Thursday. So now I'm looking for the best card. <laughs> I love that Shoshana says, all oh, moths in your closet. Yes, that's another great angle to look at the moths, isn't it? So maybe there are some moths or something old in your closet or wardrobe, which I've talked a lot about in the last couple of weeks, about our sort of inner wardrobe and really clearing out the clutter. So if you feel you've got clutter that you're dealing with, then it might be t time to get that into some sort of order. So Friday the 26th of October, you will know if this guidance is meant for you because it will resonate, it will make sense, it will sound and seem like I'm talking directly to you, even though I have no idea what's going on in your life. It's lovely to see you all. So anyway, Friday the 26th of October, we'll go with this card right here. Oh, we've got the Raven card 17. And the Raven says to face your shadow with honesty. Face your moths, <laughs> face your excuse me, beep, beep. face your past, face the parts of your light, your brightness that you may be hiding back in the shadows and it's time to face it honestly, face who you are, face a situation that you've been struggling with but perhaps putting aside, it may be time to face it now on Friday and look honestly, the ravens are confronting animal to have come up so there might be a bit of confrontation it might feel a bit unpleasant or uncomfortable on Friday but that's not a bad thing because it pushes us out of our comfort zone if we allow it to so let's feel the uncomfortableness or the confrontation the resistance that we might be feeling and push through it move through it so we can get more clarity on the other side so let's face our fears, our shadows, our inner darkness, 
with as honestly as we can and it's not about being honest I mean it's always about being honest with others but that's not what the honesty is really about it's about being honest with ourselves so that's the raven for Friday let's grab now the best card for the theme so the theme card will help us um, bring these days together and help us see the bigger picture for Thursday and Friday Whoop. that was pretty cool <laughs> a card nearly flipped out but it flipped to the top oops didn't do the same with that one. <laughs> oh, it's so funny. Okay, I cracked myself up. What can I say? The theme card is this. The chameleon. I love this. And it turned out so super in these cards. It's card three. The chameleon. And the chameleon says, give it your full attention. So over Thursday and Friday, we're being really reminded to focus, to give whatever it is that we're doing our fullest attention. So let's be careful we're not doing something but thinking about something else. So if we're doing something, we're being encouraged to fully do it and give it our fullest attention. Because it feels like if we can give these things that we need to do our fullest attention, that we'll get them done much quicker. And then we can turn our attention to the next thing. So whatever it is that we're doing, let's fully invest our time, our attention into doing that task and then move on to the next task and fully do that. Let's fully participate in whatever we're doing um, throughout Thursday and Friday. Giving it, whatever it is, our fullest attention. Let's also notice everything. Pay attention to the signs, the synchronicities, the things that are happening under the surface. So there's so much, you know, if we can focus as fully as possible on what we're doing at the time, it feels like what we're doing contains more than what we might realize if we were partially do, or doing it, but our attention was elsewhere. It feels like there's details, there's things underneath the surface of what we're doing that we can tap into, which feels really cool. So there's a wholeness that we can connect with um, as we give this our full attention. And there's a slow moving sort of energy to this. So let's just keep consistent, plodding along, rather than rushing from here to there. So this steady sort of pace feels important for Thursday and Friday. So that's that, the chameleon, which is the cutest little guy. He's so cute. So, <laughs> that's the guidance for Thursday and Friday and it comes to you from my very brand new deck. No one else has a deck yet except for me because I've got all the a thousand decks sitting in my office up here. So these are my Animal Kingdom Oracle cards um, launching today. So if you want to learn more about them or add them to your collection, they'll be going out next week. Um, you can have a look on my website at templeofbalance.com.au. So speaking of these, I'll be launching these, starting our launch, our launch fun in one hour and 10 minutes. So I'll be doing, spending six hours with you guys doing giveaways, readings, I've got lots of things to do actually. Starts in a little bit over an hour from now if you're watching live, over on my Animal Kingdoms, uh, <laughs> Animal Kingdom Oracle Cards Facebook page should be easy to find if you want to join in on the activity so that's that exciting uh, so that's mainly what I'm focusing on, on at the moment um, that which is why I haven't been in for video so the launch day today and getting the decks out is priority so I'm just buzzing around with animals at the minute so um, that's about all I need to say but if you do want to learn more about the work that I do please visit my website at templeofbalance.com.au so thank you and no it's not too late to buy um, or be involved in the launch Audrey at all so please have a look on the website if you want to be I've got an original piece of art up for grabs too that's our major giveaway that's already open so if you've already pre-ordered and you haven't registered just have a look on the Animal Kingdom's Oracle Cards Facebook page. But I'll be live streaming there in a bit over an hour um, to smudge and clear and bless and drum the cards if you wanna join me. And then I'll be doing a another live stream later in the day to announce the winners of 
all these giveaways that I'm doing. So I can't wait to just be immersed in these cards today. So thanks for joining me for this guidance. Um, I doubt I'll be in on Saturday. It's Corey's birthday on Saturday and we've been so busy that I say we're just going to go offline on Saturday to celebrate his birthday. So I doubt I'll be in over the weekend. If I can, I will, but I doubt it. So I'll do my best to be back on Monday for sure. So from Puss and I, here she is, from Puss and I, have a great couple of days and weekend if I don't connect with you and I'll connect with you again soon. So thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please hit the thumbs up button and please show us some love and um, comment or share if you're inspired to or send us a message through our website. So thanks and I'll connect with you again soon. Namaste.